Hey guys, this is Priest, and in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use Virtual Dub. So let's do that. Let me just explain that Virtual Dub is a video processing utility. It's not like Sony Vegas or Adobe After Effects since it doesn't have a timeline. So you can't edit multiple videos at the same time, okay? You can just edit one video. And basically, you can process the video, like make it smaller. If you're like have huge file size video, you can make it smaller, okay? First, let's download Virtual Dub. So just open up. Google type in virtual dub, open up first page which is virtualdub.org and on the left side in the navigation menu click downloads then click this link virtual dub at sourceforge and now you need to download the version that is compatible with the system you have so if you have 32 bit system you download this version right here here's the download link if you have 64 bit system you download this version so I'm just gonna click there click that link and uh, download will start in a few seconds and then what you do is you simply hit OK okay once you download the virtual dub you're just gonna open up this file right here which is like four megabytes and you open it up and here is your virtual dub let me first show you how to import the video you click file and then open video file and, it, and then you locate your video file and double click and it's gonna open up so here's our video file as you can see and let's see what we have down here we have this slider okay so basically we can use this slider to preview our video like this we can move frame by frame and all that good stuff then we have this button which stops the play if we play back the video it's gonna stop it then this first button it's just going to preview the input file so over here as you can see we have two previews and we have two preview windows and basically the first button with an eye on it it's gonna preview just the input video so this is our input video the second button is gonna preview input and output video basically the second preview is our processed video okay so if you, if we were like to make some edits on this video we're gonna see those edits right here on this preview we have this button which moves this slider at the start then this button these two buttons move this the slider frame by frame so forward and backward then this button moves the slider at the end of our video then we have these two buttons which move the slider by keyframes then these two buttons which I really don't know what they do but it says that they scan forward for next scene change I'm not really sure I never use these then we have these two buttons which we kind of like use to cut our video and then we save that cut so if I was to move my slider right here and then I click the first button which is mark in it's gonna make a first marker to say so and then we click the second button it's gonna make the second marker and here is our segment now what you can do you can export just this part so you can just export this part Part of the video you click file and then you click save segmented avi and uh, basically it's just gonna save this part next let's see what uh what kind of file types does virtual dub support so you can click on file and open video type and then just hover your mouse over here and then you can see all types that it supports basically it just doesn't support flv wmv and yeah formats like this but as you can see it supports really huge variety of formats okay and uh, but uh, virtual dub is as I said processing utility and it's widely used by uh, counter-strike players the guys that like to make counter-strike frag videos since uh, because like they export their videos into segment of pictures or frames and then they need to use virtual dub to connect those frames so if you're into making those counter-strike frag videos if you have that segment of images you click on file open video file and then you make sure automatically load linked segments is selected and then what you do is you navigate to your counter-strike folder you just click on the first image the first image in all that segment and then you just click open and basically it's gonna open up all of those images all all that segment of images it's gonna open it up and you can preview it just like it's a video okay and that's what basically those guys do and then you just click on file save as AVI and then you just save that segment of images into a video file so then you can edit it in the Sony Vegas and all that stuff so that's basically what counter-strike players do also the guys that like to use fraps they like to use virtual dub to compress the file size of their videos so for example let me show you how to do that like all that compression all that and that good stuff so this uh, video that I just imported is four minutes long and it's 100 megabytes size okay and uh, 
how you can compress it is you click video and make sure full processing mode is selected that will tell virtual dub to process the full video and then you basically click on compression and now you need to apply the compressor so i just usually use xvid mpeg4 codec and then you click configure and then you just configure it i just make sure it's on like i don't know 124 kilobits per second or, or something like that and then you just basically hit ok and ok again and uh, also i like to process my audio so i click on audio full processing mode and i click audio again and then compression and now i can apply the compressor for audio as well and then basically once you apply your compressors and all that stuff you click file and save is avi and then it's going to save it and there you have it so that's what Fraps users like to use. And yeah, that was it, Virtual Dub, how to use it and what is it mostly used for. Uh, I believe I have a few more tutorials on Virtual Dub already on my channel, so check those out to learn more about this program. And yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to rate it, throw some comment up on this bitch and subscribe. I'll catch you later. Priest out.